Hello mobsters! Welcome to this tutorial video about where do you start when you first join the game and how do families work and how do you get into them. So if we start here, this is the street. So this is the this is the family that you are essentially in when you first start in the game. You are in the streets and your um, this is showing the streets, this is showing other members in the streets. So by being in the streets, you're very limited in what you're able to do. So the, the main focus really is to get into a family. And when you first log in for the first time at each day, every time you log in each day and you are in the streets, you will get a mail that says from admin, Hey, you're a member of the streets and you're limited in what you can do. More abilities are unlocked once you join a family. So, um, if we go to say so like jobs and then on the side here, we've got the different things highlighted for, um, uh, things that are important when you're brand new to hopefully draw attention so that way people can easily figure out, all right, what do I need to do? I've joined this game. I need to figure out like, what are the objectives? What do I need to do? So I've highlighted these on the side. Those are the more important. Here's your player guide. That's going to go over everything that's basically in these videos in a um, sometimes more detailed fashion, but it has all the information right there at your fingertips. Here's the jobs. These jobs are actually, if you're in the street and you're a new player, these are easier than normal jobs. Um, starting off, this character doesn't have much for high stats. So we've got 100%, 100%, and then it goes down to 95, 85, 75. And the COS is a chance of success. And here it is telling you that the stat to determine it, what is uh, what stat is used to determine your chance of success is listed here. So that's all intelligence. So the higher your intelligence, the higher your chance of, of passing the jobs, the jobs are harder as you go down. So those are different than if you are in a family, because once you leave the streets, you're now hopefully more acclimated with the game. And now you start the jobs are harder and they're they have better payouts. Uh, the jobs in the streets are easier, but they don't pay out nearly as much as the normal jobs. Then if we go in family to also make attacking a little bit easier and more understandable you've got five street targets that you can attack these you're allowed five attacks each day five beat attempts extort and robs and those are the primary stat uh attacks that you do every single day then you have other attacks but sometimes those are reserved for special occasions or war so here in this case everything's highlighted showing like hey you haven't beat this person today so you, you beat them you successfully beat bandit you can extort rob and now if we go back to the family page now that bandit is no longer highlighted in yellow now if i only did one or two of the attacks they would still be highlighted in yellow because it's showing the that hey you still got more attacks to do to help show that like here's the activities that you'd want to do and by attacking other people in the game uh, you get you gain stats that way additionally on top of your daily objective uh your daily job, which gives you whatever stat you choose. So this way you can also, by attacking, you grow your stats and you grow stronger. The best way to grow in this game is by doing your attacks. And so you got five attacks to use each day and it doesn't take very long. Like if I went through, obviously you can just go click, click, click on this. And then, and once you get into a family, it gets a little bit more complicated. You might have to go to the America family or the pop family, which those are, uh, NPCs, those are bots, and they do their own tasks, um, but they're not players, so they're easier to attack. So to get started, once you get into family, you'd move to attacking them first, and then once you learn that, then you move into uh, attacking other players, which you can see in my other tutorial video about attacking, going over those aspects. So if we go into, um, so if we want to start a family, first thing that we got to do is we got to get three respect. Um, this character currently has nine. So I have this available to me, family, I'm currently in the streets, but hey, do you want to start the process of making a gang? So yep, yeah, let's make a gang. So I'll just put in test gang. And then now I'm going to register my gang. And now my family is now test gang. So if I go to family, it's just me. I've got my own little family, essentially. It's, it's just a gang at this point. Uh, and then you can drop, dismantle the gang and then go back. But then you go to the streets and we've got those people that are still left in the streets you can go on to them and here's how you show respect you go to that you go to a person 
and you can either anonymously respect so it just gives them a respect and they don't know who where it came from or you can send a respect and then they'll get a mail saying that you gave them that respect but here we are because we started a gang do you want this in, to invite this mobster to your gang so i'd click invite and now they have gotten an invite from me to join my gang so they can accept it and so this is how you get a family once you have five people who've accepted you so you and then five others you can then can move on to the next step of actually creating a family. So if we look at a family uh, real quick and we've got, here's one of the families here is you've got a Don underboss, capo, lieutenant, soldiers, and consigliere. So those are the, the different positions that you can have and then associates. So associates like you have just come into the family. Uh, you have no privileges within the family. You're still an associate, so you can't fly. You can't do, um, you can't look at the family board. So there's things that, so you're limited in what you can do in that family until they put you into a position. And if you, like, if you die in the family, then you drop, you drop down to an associate until you come back to life. And then they re put you back into the family tree where, where you need to go. So then we'll go to the player's guide and go over, uh, oh, wrong one, ranks. So here it, it's going to go over exactly what each position does. So the Don is the Don. That's your leader. That's your go-to man. He is the highest ranking position, deserves the most amount of respect. Can't disrespect the Don. Otherwise you're going to get whacked. Um, the Don focuses for stats, focuses on business. They're the business control. They're the ones pushing what businesses that the family is going to go for. Um, your underboss is you know the person to be feared they're the right hand person to the don they have the special capability of actually being able to extort and potentially steal a business from another family and then it's now your family's business so that's their special perk their their core focus is intimidation and they are that they're like the up their their sub, subordinates um are capos so the capos report to the underboss then we've got the consigliere who is the lawyer of the family and the person that gives advice, the peacekeeper among other families. So your consigliere is the person that would basically work alongside the Don with, if say there's tensions rising in, in another family, those two would work with the other family and try and settle things out and figure out what needs to happen to correct any issues, any missteps that maybe a member had done. Like maybe a, a member disrespected the Don of the other family and now you're you guys are in a debate over like what is what is the penalty what should what should happen to that person for overstepping they are also the the consigliere is the person that's going to keep your family members out of jail your consigliere uses their clout to determine success on keeping members out of jail so you could potentially go to jail for perform, performing illegal activities uh like robbing banks beating up people, whacking people. So your consigliere will keep you out of jail so you don't go to jail for doing these illegal activities. They also manage the city officials. There's city officials in all the cities except for Ellis Island. And they provide bonuses when you get them on your family's payroll, which is extremely important. So they manage that. And then there's heat meters in the game for each city. And that represents like, all right, if you're causing all this ruckus, you're, you're doing all this illegal activities, you're going to start pissing off the locals and the the other the government officials and so the heat meter as you're doing illegal activities is going to rise and it's that job of the consigliere to kind of smooth things out do fundraisers do whatever to lower that heat meter so that way that you keep the people at peace because once it goes over a hundred like you're not allowed to fly to that city anymore you go to jail for everything your consig can't keep you out of jail anymore so it's it's really important to for the consigliere to manage all those things. So consigliere is an extremely important job. Then we've got um, the capo and they are, their main focus is intelligence and what they can do, they can go to the airport and then they can do a check to see if there's any trespassers and it'll tell them, a capo will tell them, I didn't even, every city that your family has a district in, then that will deter that will tell them if there's anyone that doesn't belong in that city it will say hey this person's trespassing and then basically your family can whack them so once you have a turf if no one has any businesses in that city with you they don't really have any business being there so they're considered hostile and you can actually kill them for being 
being on your turf. Um, so that's the capo's focus. The lieutenants report to the capos. And then, so then the next is the lieutenants. The lieutenants, uh, their main focus is leadership. And then with leadership, they get a job where if they pass that job based off their leadership stat, they can then provide their soldier or soldiers underneath them, pick one. And once a day, they can give them either one point of strength or one point of accuracy. So you can quickly boost up your soldiers to be ready for war or ready just to fight, uh, just to strengthen those members up. Then after that, we've got the soldiers. So the soldiers are the muscle. Their, their, pri their primary focus is either strength or accuracy. So when they're doing their, their, their rank job, it'll take whatever stat is higher, either the strength or their accuracy, and it'll use that to determine chance of success. The soldiers report to the lieutenants, and each person that has people underneath them, so everyone from the Don, the Don sets a family tax, and then the underboss, capo, and lieutenant can set their own upper tax. And that means anyone that reports to them, anyone under them in the, in the family structure has to pay them uh, whatever percent tax that they have put on them. So it auto kicks into the game. So it accounts for like in the mafia, like everyone always has to kick up to the Don. You got to kick up to your upper. So these mechanics are already built in. So it automatically does it for you. So every time you make money, it automatically takes some of your money and sends it upwards. So the soldier also can fight in a in a fight tournament that only soldiers can fight in and it takes as many soldiers up to it'll take as minimum as four up to 16 and throw them randomly into a tournament and they fight one on one and then they move on to the next round of the tournament until there's a crown winner and then there's prizes for winning so that's the soldier and then the associate is the lowest that's entry level that's like you just got into the family you don't really have any perks um, you're just basically just got there. And then once the Don, uh, figures out where they want to put you, they then assign you to, uh, uh, to a family or not to a family, to a position within the family. So that's, that's how to make a family. That's how to get started. Um, that's why it's important to be in a family. There's all these different perks. Um, so definitely the first thing you want to do is you want to get into a family or create one of your own. If there's enough people in the streets, if there's not anyone in the streets, you're coming in and everyone's already been claimed into a family. Um, you'll want to look at, uh, possibly not creating your own family just cause then there won't be anyone to even invite anyway, but you could, if you create it, then you've got a gang and you're a gang of one, but you could look at other families. You could look at other gangs and try and see what you can get into and, you know, most likely when we first start off, you can get into a family, you probably start out as a soldier, but you can work your way up to the different positions. So I hope this helps. I know it's a long winded one, um, trying to explain all the different positions, but I hope it helps. I hope you've enjoyed this video as always. Keep it mafia, family, loyalty, respect. Take care.